Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Axis Draws! It has been a while since my last one, but unfortunately I just haven't been drawing all that much lately. Though, the past couple of drawings, I mean it's been a while now, but the past couple of drawings I did for the thumbnails on our channel, I've been pretty proud of. I'll just quickly show you them, but they were for uh, Hothful Boyfriend, I the Somnium Files, and NG. Uh, I think I was in too much of a hurry and had to get all of those particular ones out at once So I didn't end up recording them. But anyways, um, so this footage is actually from a while back as I'm sure you can tell from how long ago I streamed Okami. I've been using this time um, on the channel to upload a couple of older things. I never found the right time to upload Apparently I drew this back in June of 2019. Holy cow. Um, this is still one of my favorite Astro Girl drawings that I worked on, mostly because it was a lot of fun to imitate the style of an iconic game that I love so much. I didn't get all that close to the original style and I ended up putting my own spin on it, um, but it was still fun to go through the process. If you haven't seen or played Old Kami before, I highly, HIGHLY recommend it! <laughs> Please! I played it uh, when it first came out a long time ago on the PS2 and I had only revisited it last year through streaming the HD remake on the Switch. Um, I hadn't played the PS2 version in so long that I didn't really know what the differences were, but like, I'm sure they did a bunch of graphical updates and like enhanced like the visuals and mechanics and all that stuff, um, but they still captured the charm of the original. Either way, it looked and played great to me. I remember talking about Olkami with uh, my friend Minji as I was playing the HD remake and we were both talking about how unique the game was and how there wasn't anything quite like it since and like the combination of the gameplay, art style, music, the emotions that it evoked. It's just something so great. Oh. <laughs> Every time there was like a blossoming sequence, so many emotions would just surge through me and that ending. <laughs> Sorry, oh my god. If you haven't played the game, none of this probably means anything to you, but like I just can't praise this game enough. Um, I never actually played the sequel all the way through where it stars like her son, Chibiterasu. I don't even know if that's a spoiler because I don't really know the sequence of events leading up to that, but um, I remember playing like a tiny bit of it on the DS and for some reason I didn't like it, but I wonder if like I just didn't give it a fair chance and had too high of expectations coming from the first one, so maybe I'll have to play the second one someday. Sequels to stuff you like can be really scary, but no matter how the second game turns out to be, I'm sure it will not dampen my intense love for this game at all. Uh, going back to the drawing for a little bit, um, I had fun trying to come up with what she would look like. The top headlight thingies being shaped like ears was already like obvious to me from the start, but I had no idea what to do with the rest of it. Like, where the heck was I gonna put the markings? How was the outfit gonna look like since Amaterasu is a wolf and we don't really see her human form? I ended up looking to other people's fan creations of what they would imagine her to look like in human form. Um, and I'm always pretty fond of the large red ropes aesthetic as well as like the little splits in the sleeve. Uh, otherwise, it's just a really simple outfit and I needed to stick uh, more of her elements in there. So I added those uh, ink fur tufts on the shoulders and wrists and then like decided to turn her entire hair pieces into brushes since Amy uses her tail as a brush. Like, did you know I never knew that? in all my years of playing the game. I always thought she was just like pulling out a celestial brush out of nowhere and we were seeing it like figuratively, but I eventually realized she's using her tail, which is just so cute and clever. She's got incredible and precise motor control over her tail to be able to do any of that. But then again, in the game, like I made incredibly broad and messy strokes that didn't end up triggering the skills half the time. So, you know, maybe it's just a little bit of dog tail realism thrown in there. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, I just sloppily stuck her face markings all over her helmet. Um, I can imagine Astro Girl kind of just crudely painting things on top of it. <laughs> Dude, also, the new image that they came up with for the HD remake, the background thumbnail image, is just stunning, by the way. I... I wonder what the artist of this game is up to nowadays, actually. I wonder if they still draw like this sometimes, or if it was like just to fit the style of this specific game and they usually draw really differently. Um, I only did a super cursory search, but unfortunately at the time of recording this, I don't have too much time to look it up in detail. If you happen to find anything out, I'd love to know. But something I did find while I was recording this is apparently that the creator of the game, Hideki Kamiya, says the game is gonna be back. <laughs> This is something that was reported on October 18th, 2019, but the article says he's known for trolling people. Don't play with my heart like that. Wait, 
Okay, wait, there's this other thing. Alongside uh, Ikumi Nakamura, Nakamura, I'm so sorry, who's, uh, she's been popping up a lot more on Twitter lately. She's a very quirky, lovely lady who uh, was apparently a concept artist on Bayonetta, but was also apparently an Olkami artist. Did I just answer my own question about what, you know, the artist is up to nowadays? Um, either way, another sequel would be so exciting, though. Um, but I would be a tiny bit cautious. Well, we're not even sure if they're truly promising anything, but I will quietly hold out hope. Anyways, we're wrapping up here and I'm just applying curves and filters uh, to have the colors either match better or stand out better from the background and then adding outlines to, again, help it stand out. Um, I also always find a font similar to the logo as best as I can for the numbers. I believe this one was called Edel and I also use this for uh, Yakuza. Yeah. Anyways, here is the finished drawing. Thanks for joining me for this quick little blast to the past and seriously, play all Kami if you haven't already. I'll also link to my stream if you wanted to get a little taste of the game. All right, see you next time. This is Axis, over and out.